Okay, hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of um, explain more in depth what intervals are. We talked in class uh, earlier this week about them and there's an assignment that is due tomorrow, um, on fr well on Friday, depending on when you watch this video. There's an assignment due tomorrow, tomorrow night, oof, my hair, ooh. tomorrow night um, about intervals or over intervals. So let me just explain. So an interval is simply the space between two different notes. Um, and that can be that, and it means exactly what it means. Um, the spacing between two notes from any note to any other note is a certain interval. So for example, if we have a C down here, and I wanna know the spacing from C to G. All I do is I count up lines and spaces. So C is on this line, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So this is a perfect fifth. It's a specific interval called a perfect fifth. Um, and for now, on the assignment, the, the assignment doesn't call it a perfect fifth, it just calls it a fifth. So if you just want to put fifth for now, that's okay. Um, that's all I'm looking for is for you to identify how much space is between each note. So once again, how you identify it, let me erase it real quick. You start on C, you go, and that's one. So on the line is one. The bottom space under the staff is two. The next line is three. Next space is four. And then we arrive at five, which is where our G is. So it's a fifth. It's an interval of a fifth. And there are many, many, many intervals in music, depending on what, what type of scale you're using or what type of, uh, I mean, yeah, the scale pretty much is what tells you major or minor or harmonic minor or something. So I'll show you. Another example, let me write a big staff here. So here's our treble clef. We start on F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Uh, my staff needs to go a little bit further. And F. And so as a review for key signatures, the key of F has one flat, and that's B flat over here. So, these using a scale is the the intervals in the major scale are the only intervals that I would like you to know for now. And depending on what note, what notes, depending on which note you go to, that's what interval it is. You're always going to start on the bottom note, so we're always going to start from whatever the bottom note is and we're going to use the bottom note to tell us the intervals between the other notes. So F to G, that's just an interval of a second. You can follow along on your lesson, or your lesson number 44, I think it is, your homework assignment for tomorrow. You can follow along with me here. F to G is a second, right here, so second. F to A is a third. F to B flat is a fourth. F to C is a fifth. F to D is a sixth. F to E is a seventh. And then F to F is an octave. Or an eighth. Eighth is the same thing as an octave. So, if you notice, there was a really easy pattern that we followed. We just started at the first one. The second note of the scale is a second, a major second. The third note of the scale is a major third. The fourth note of the scale is a perfect fourth. The fifth note is a perfect fifth. The sixth note is a major sixth. Seventh note is a major seventh. And then an octave 
is an octave or an eighth, a major eighth octave, same thing. So there's definitely a pattern with t telling how what intervals are based on the bottom note. It all revolves around this note of the scale. Whatever the bottom note is, it doesn't matter what the bottom note is. It all depends on what the bottom note is, and if you just count up from that note, you will get your interval. Um, hopefully this will help some of you who are a little confused about it. I'll try to find another video of someone else explaining as well, just to see if that helps also. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more. See you later.